All right, folks, welcome back to the Dawn's channel. I am the Dawn Father, and this is hashtag AFL Car Chat. I'm just going to be doing a Sunday review of obviously today's, tonight's games down under in the AFL. First up, we had the Giants versus North, who I obviously tipped the Giants because they were so good last year. And North were sort of middle of the table ish team, weren't they, last year, if we're being all uh, honest. Um, so on that, I just decided. And it would make sense to back the Giants at home. Well, I was wrong. As I was wrong quite a bit in my predictions this week. North were fantastic with that shin boner mentality. They played so well. They won 80-60. But in that last couple of... Well, the second half, really, they just took out... Um, I want to mention one player who I... I absolutely loved watching. The mullet was insane. He's... He, do you know what? He's so stocky and sturdy looking, and he can he matches his like his physicality, um, the, the way he looks physically with his physicality and mentality as well. Um, they said between him and Anderson, the 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 Bash brothers, both of them are hard as a bag of nails and epitomise the North Melbourne shin boner mentality. It's Zurhar. I think he chipped in with three goals today as well. He played exceptionally well. I'm not going to go into great details of the review. I'm just going to recap. Um, the all weekend scores and just go over today's scores as well individually. So North Melbourne, congratulations to them. They won 80-60. That's two wins in a row now for North this, this year. Fantastic to see. Um, Swans at the SCG against Essendon then. Now this went right to the wire. It could have been anyone, but Essendon got a like... Uh, Essendon held on right late on to, to 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 secure the win, didn't they? 73-79. In the first um, few minutes, Anthony McDonald tipping Woody playing footy. Um, absolutely brilliant. He's coming to get ya! He's coming to get ya! He chased one down, made the tackle, uh, won the free, and he converted for second goal of the game in the first 10 minutes, I think. 5-10 minutes of play. Fantastic stuff. Anthony McDonald tipping Woody. Really love to watch him. But Swan fought back. Swans actually played really, really well today. This was probably the game of the day in terms of um, you know competition between the two teams. They really went at each other and there is no love loss between these two sides. It threatened to spill over into a fight as well in the game and you love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. The passion's overflowing, don't you? That's what footy means to people and the fans. You hate to see your, your players not fully committed but you couldn't say that today in the Swans-Essendon game. Both teams fully committed to the cause um, and Essendon coming out 79-73 victors. So on to the last game of the day, and all I'll say is, Oh, when the Saints go marching in, Oh, please don't let it be against the doggies. Why, doggies, were you so poor today? That's two really bad losses now for the doggies. They find themselves bottom of the ladder. Of course, the Bulldogs, my team, really gotten to see. I really struggled with the last quarter to watch it. Let me tell you, credit to St Kilda. The doggies actually got off to a ferocious start as well, which is quite frustrating because if they could kick straight today, which they couldn't, they were abysmal in front of goal. So many players, even senior players um, today, were poor. They couldn't kick straight to save their lives today um, but what St Kilda did they put the doggies on the ropes they got the goals back, they took a lead they took a convincing lead and when the doggies tried to fight their way back in they absorbed the pressure at the back St Kilda and just smashed the Bulldogs on the counter attack let me tell you, 3-4 pass goal 3-4 pass goal two or three times in a row I've seen that there and St Kilda thoroughly deserved their win. They were the only team that really showed up today. Let me tell you, I was quite disappointed in the senior figures. Don't think Bont and Pelly or McRae were up to their usual standards. Tim English in the ruck wasn't as convincing as he should have been. Um, so many players, Dunkley, uh, Caleb Dan, so many players are just I was just disappointed. When your team loses like that there, it's hard to give credit to anyone. Um, do you know what? Bulldogs didn't deserve the win, St Kilda thoroughly deserved the victory, so congratulations to them, they won 88-49, and that's a win now for St Kilda, do you know what, there's only a couple of teams managed uh, two wins, and we'll go through it quickly, the two the teams that have won two wins, Port, who are sitting top, um, North Melbourne, and Essendon, so an unlikely uh, few teams there to be sitting in the top 
two or three teams of the ladder. I know it's really early on, but what you've got to remember is if these teams can grind out results over the next three, four, five weeks, they might find themselves in a very... Um, you know, good position coming into the the sort of the stage where finals footy comes around. Bearing in mind, this is shorter quarters, it's a shorter season, so get the results and get them early in the ladder. That's what I would be saying. And um, probably the biggest upset has to go to Gold Coast Suns, who won ninety. I mean, they didn't just win; they absolutely smashed one of the favourites in the tournament, West Coast Eagles, by forty four point margin, ninety forty six. Congratulations to them. But I would say the best um, performance of the weekend has to be Port Adelaide and the showdown against the fierce rivals, the Crows. They smashed them by a Port's record margin now of 75 points, which was absolutely incredible. It was men versus boys. I ran out of superlatives there. See that young crop at Port Adelaide. Um, I'm going to mention a couple of names, young players who I thought were fantastic. I did check the highlights of the Gold Coast Suns. Um, and your man, Roll, the ginger ninja, he was fantastic. He really was. Um, so they've got some good young picks there at um, Gold Coast Suns. I hope... And do you know what the thing is? What you've got to remember about Gold Coast Suns, these young guns are going to get a chance there. There's not great competition for places at the Suns. So if they've got good young draft picks, the chances of them playing and impressing are probably quite high as in comparison to the sort of bigger, more senior teams who have already seasoned professionals in their club and mixed with their own young guns. They possibly already had so worth noting that Gold Coast Suns they've got a good couple of a couple of players that you should keep your eye on uh, and they would be probably a good idea to maybe get them into your team if you're playing super coach etc um, I might think about doing that but as I was going to say Port Adelaide there's the two or three draft picks that they've had this year added on to Doors My Butters and probably um Rosie was the best one of the three for me, even though Dersma had got three goals. I think just the way Rosie's well to put his head in it, anything. Um, do, uh, do you know what? The, uh, as the commentators rightly pointed out, these young guys aren't afraid to show a bit of personality on a footy field. And I think uh, in the modern world, you don't really see that as much anymore. Uh, and obviously, um, Dersma doing his uh, bow and arrow, Robin Hood type celebration, which I think is fantastic. But they're not uh, uh, afraid to play with a smile on their face and celebrate goals. Uh, and it's exciting times for Port, I must admit. Two wins now, albeit the first game was against the Gold Coast Suns. Uh, I I don't think that matters when you see it in the showdown, both teams, uh, when you come into a de derby game like this, you should not be uh, getting beat because the other team wanted it more, um, that should never be the case, so both teams definitely want this in a derby game, um, but Port were just far superior on the day, so quickly running through, it was a draw between Collingwood Richmond, Geelong absolutely slaughtered Hawthorne, 108-47 at the GMHBA, uh, at the Gabba then, Brisbane run out victors, 8-1, 69 against the Dockers, that was a good game as well, I enjoyed that, another cracking game in terms of how close it was, and I knew it would be close when I was picking, uh, my prediction was Carlton Melbourne at the Marvel, it was 53-54 this finished, it could have went either way right at the end, Carlton fought so well to come back into it, but just too little too late, you can't help but think if it was 20 minute quarters, Carlton might have had that one, um, the way the momentum swing uh, was happening in that particular game, um, Gold Coast Suns of course, they ran out, 90-46 victors at the West Coast Eagles um, Boss Baby jumping in. Again, I can't even go outside to the car uh, and not get video bombed by Boss Baby. Um, she loves it. Um, Port Adelaide, 110-35 against the Crows. The Giants, 60-80 uh, in favour of North Melbourne. And Boss Baby there. Let me do the video and I'll come and speak to you in a wee minute. Or go in the back of the car. <laughs> My lord, 60-80, um, North Melbourne victors today at the Giants Stadium at the SCG, 73-79 to Essendon, congratulations to them, um, fighting hard for that victory, and the last game of the day didn't really have to fight hard for the victory, and that was down to the Bulldogs being under par, and very poor in front of goal, um, St Kilda, congratulations, 88-49 to St Kilda. I hope you've enjoyed the weekend's footy, I've absolutely loved it, I think I've watched seven live games this weekend and watch the highlights of the other two um, that I couldn't watch um, and it's been fantastic always a pleasure to bring you the reviews I hope you've enjoyed them don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're enjoying 
the Don Father and Boss Baby's reviews of the weekend's footy uh, and also obviously our reactions at AFL Tipping. I'm going to be doing a quiz hopefully soon and um, Super Coach. I'm going to run through the Super Coach this week because they've probably not updated the individual player points. I'm going to look at changing my team and getting a few more young guns in there for two reasons. One, Kerry, you give me a good bit of advice. The young guns are cheaper and they're playing without fear right now and they're some of the best players in the actual competition are the young players right now so it would be worth um, amending your teams I would say anyway thanks very much and I'll see you all soon goodbye bye bye <laughs>